Hey, Chief's Kingdom, are you ready to dive into some crucial updates about our team? There's a lot of talk about big names returning, but let's face it, that's not the whole story. The Kansas City Chiefs are playing a strategic game here, one that might just change the narrative of the season. Keep listening because what I'm about to share might make you rethink everything you know about this team's approach. Let's not sugarcoat it. Chiefs' kingdom is eager for the return of key players. Fans have been waiting, some would argue impatiently, for their stars to rejoin the lineup and help maintain our dominance. The anticipation has been palpable with every practice and interview. Yet here we are, facing another week without pivotal players. So what's the game plan? What do you do when you sit on top of the league, boasting one of the best records while the playoff race heats up? The answer might surprise you. The Chiefs aren't rushing players back into action. Nope, they're being calculated and smart, which is exactly what we're witnessing in Kansas City right now. If you thought the Chiefs would stride into Week 12 with their entire roster intact, think again. Head coach Andy Reid confirmed that both Isaiah Pacheco and Charles Omenihu will remain sidelined for another week. Now, before you panic, know this. Both players have been practicing. Pacheco, the powerhouse running back who has been the heart of our ground game for the past two seasons, is back at practice, but the Chiefs aren't rushing him back just yet. Meanwhile, Omenihu, who is recovering from a challenging torn ACL, is close but still not quite ready. And that's perfectly okay. This decision is made with the long-term health of the team in mind. It's not about Week 12, it's about ensuring these key players are primed for when it really matters. Picture this. If the Chiefs rush these guys back too soon and faced further injury or struggles, the consequences would be catastrophic. Now, let's be real. This week's opponent is the Carolina Panthers. Sure, they're in the midst of a rebuild, but the Chiefs are heavily favored to win this game, no matter who's on the field. That gives the team the perfect opportunity to rest and recover, allowing Pacheco and Omenihu to prepare for the more critical games ahead. This isn't a hasty decision. It's a testament to why the Chiefs continue to dominate. They don't panic. They don't overreact and they maintain their focus on long-term success. Despite missing these two players, the Chiefs boast an impressive 9-1 record and are still pushing towards something much bigger than the regular season, preparing for playoffs. While some fans may worry about how the team will perform without Pacheco and Omenihu, let's not forget, the Chiefs have depth. They're not running around in a panic. Enter Kareem Hunt, a name familiar to NFL fans, as he steps in alongside rising star Carson Steele in the backfield. Together, they're more than capable of keeping our ground game alive. And what about the defense? Yes, losing all many who is tough. He's a top-notch edge rusher. And we all know how crucial that pass rush is. But once again, the Chiefs are equipped with depth. Chris Jones can pressure opposing quarterbacks, and our linebackers and secondary are ready to step up as needed. The defense is solid and won't crumble under pressure. The Chiefs thrive on adversity. They aren't just relying on a handful of stars. They've built a winning culture with a talented roster and brilliant coaching. This is what sets them apart. As we sit back and analyze the Chiefs' situation, think about the bigger picture. They have the best record in the AFC, and they're smartly playing the long game. Remember, the NFL is unforgiving. The road to a championship is littered with obstacles and unexpected challenges. But the Chiefs, under the leadership of Andy Reid, know how to manage their resources wisely and wait for the right moments to strike. So, while it's unfortunate that we won't see Pacheco, and Omenohu on the field this week. It's not the end of the world. The Chiefs have a plan in place, one that's been in the works all season long. They've cultivated talent and built a team that can perform no matter who's on the field. Kareem Hunt and Carson Steele will step up, and though they aren't Pacheco, 
they bring their own strengths. Plus, one of the most dynamic quarterbacks in the game is ready to unleash some serious firepower to our playmakers. Now, I can hear some of you wondering, what if the Chiefs get caught sleeping and underestimate the Panthers? But let's not kid ourselves.